Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick and this is Edmonton Oilers Trade Deadline Primer. A series dedicated to getting you ready for the NHL trade deadline and going over the Oilers forwards, defense and goaltending and seeing where the holes are and which targets the Oilers should go after to fill those holes. In the first two installments in the series, we looked at the forwards and the defense. In today's installment, we will look at the goaltending. This past summer, Ken Holland nearly landed goaltender Darcy Kemper from the Arizona Coyotes. But in the end, after Philip Grubauer signed in Seattle, Colorado swooped in with a better offer and landed Kemper. The end result had the Oilers returning with the same duo of Mike Smith and Miko Koskinen. Koskinen's contract was hard to move, especially coming off the season he had, but bringing back Mike Smith was entirely the Oilers' choice. I don't blame Holland for wanting to bring Smith back. He was coming off a stellar season. But on a two-year deal? We all know the most that Smith should have gotten was one year. If his demand was two years or I walk, I would have said thank you for your services and best of luck. There was no reason at all to give Smith a two-year contract. By doing so, Ken Holland had to hope and pray that Smith stayed healthy and continued his unlikely dominance. The gamble didn't pay off. Smith has battled injuries all year long. As of this recording, Smith has appeared in a total of seven games this year, posting a record of 2-3-1, with a goals against average of 3.80 and a save percentage of 893. He has allowed 25 goals in seven games. The season isn't over yet, and there's time for Smith to turn his numbers around, but it doesn't look good. What looks the worst is that he signed for another season at $2.2 million. Miko Koskinen has stayed healthy, aside from recently coming down with COVID, and he's been good, aside from a December stretch that saw nearly every Oiler struggling. He currently has a record of 16-8-2, with a goals against average of 3.15 and a save percentage of 900. Connor McDavid was quoted at the All-Star game, saying Koskinen has been the Oilers' unsung hero, and I have to say it's true. He's struggled at times, no denying that, but I don't know where the Oilers would be at right now without him. I think we can all agree that Koskinen's ceiling is a solid 1B or backup goaltender. When you ask more of them than that, that's when the struggles come. Koskinen should be a goalie making somewhere in the $2 million range or less. The fact that the Oilers signed him to a $4.5 million contract after a limited sample size is entirely on them. With Smith's injuries this season, the Oilers got the chance to showcase rising prospect Stuart Skinner. Skinner has a record in the NHL this season of 5-6-0, and a goals against average of 2.85 and a save percentage of 908. Skinner has been stellar in the AHL with Bakersfield, posting a record of 802 with a goals against average of 1.97 and a save percentage of 928. You can see Skinner is slowly finding his way, and with Koskinen currently on COVID protocol, he will get some more playing time. This is the last season that Skinner is waivers exempt, so the Oilers likely can't risk trying to waive him after training camp next season. He's dominating the AHL, he's ready for his NHL shot, and should be the Oilers' 1B goalie next season. The fact that he comes in at a cheap 750 k next season is an added bonus. The problem is that with how things currently stand, the Oilers' 1A goalie is Mike Smith. The future is not looking too bright, and the present isn't any better. There is zero doubt in my mind that the Oilers have to look for a goaltender. Koskinen has been good, but I don't think he can carry the Oilers through the final 38 games with an incredibly hectic schedule. Smith is unreliable, and Skinner doesn't deserve to have that burden thrown on him yet. Despite his play, I think the Oilers have to try and find a way to move Koskinen and run Smith as their backup the rest of the way. Or, Skinner becomes the backup if Smith's injury troubles continue. I would also be in favor of moving Mike Smith if the Oilers can find a way to do it, but he would be even harder to move than Koskinen, and I just don't see it happening. Stuart Skinner is the Oilers' future in goal, but until he's ready to take the mantle, the Oilers need an insurance goalie in place. In my opinion, Mike Smith and Miko Koskinen are not the answer. I'd list Miko Koskinen as the trade bait the Oilers have to try to move by the deadline for an upgrade. In the final installment of Edmonton Oilers' trade deadline primer, I'll take a look at players the Oilers can target to fill their spots of need at forward, defense, and goal. Well, that's my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.
Have a great evening, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.